The pandemic has robbed a lot of people opportunities to do what they love and to impact the lives of those around them. Now that they've been cleared to play, one Grand Rapids team is back on the field and ready to make up for lost times. 13 on your side sports director Jamal Spencer has more. They all start as strangers. I am a civil engineer. Coming from all walks of life. I'm a lab technician. I am a foster care caseworker. But they're all drawn to that sound. That feeling of helmets clashing and pads popping. And they realize three facts. They all have something in common. I always wanted to play since I was little, but never could. I've always been interested, but it was really never an option for me growing up. I was always told only boys could do this, and I was like, hell no, that's not what I was after COVID-19 canceled their 2020 season, the Grand Rapids tidal waves are set to begin their fourth year with a renewed hunger. You let your frustrations out on the field. Um, you bond together as a sisterhood uh, with the players and, and with your teammates. The team features about 30 active players and they play in the Women's Football Alliance, the largest women's tackle football league in the world. Competition level, it's up there. Like this is not, it's not a powder puff league. It is college rules, full tackle, um, and we bring it. We bring it every Saturday. Women's tackle football in West Michigan has come and gone, dating back to the 1980s, and a team called the Grand Rapids Carpenters, who won a national championship in 1985. This new batch of players is committed to keeping the tidal waves around, not just to play football, but to enrich their communities as well through community service. The fact that I can be like a pillar and, you know, be like a role model for the younger generation is kind of cool. Other than playing for the love of the game, these athletes also want to inspire the next generation of women football players. Women can do the same thing that men can do. Like just, we know what we're talking about. It's not like, oh, look at the little guy over there in the cute shorts. Like we actually know the game, we understand the game. As the tidal waves prepare to crash into another season, they hope more and more people take notice that they're for real. The tidal waves, they're, they're doing something right. Um, they're drawing people in and um, honestly, I mean, everyone should want to be a part of this. Jamal Spencer, 13 on your side sports. They got my attention. The tidal waves play their home games at Northview High School. Their season begins on Saturday, May 1st, and the team will be holding a kids food basket drive. For more information, go to our website, 13onyourside.com.